Hi guys, Cyclic Scooby. So I'll show you my new Mark II dashboard with a larger screen and bigger shift lights. This is the new participant info screen. So you can see you've got the car, the class, the location, the number of participants and the number of laps in the event. If it's a, a, a race with you know, 20 laps it will say 20 but if you're qualifying or practicing where there are no set amount of laps then it says open event. Just come out of the pits and the timer on the screen isn't running it's all dashes so my timer isn't running. So we've now got aero damage which goes up as you injure the car more you've got the current last and best lap times and position and lap if you're racing that will say position one of 26 and lap one of 13 but if you're not then it will just the num you know it only shows what's relevant with the new shift light i've mounted it above the display so you can see the tv through it so you've got a floating ghostly uh, shift light and it's now got more LEDs, so... We've just done the warm up lap out of the pits. We're about to cross the start finish line and the screen timer is about to start for the first valid lap. So you'll note that my timer starts running as well. Okay, there you go. So I've just done the first lap. We're going to come across the start finish line. There you go. So it's started the timer running again, only now you've also got your last and also best lap times filled in. Right, so now let's cut the track. So we can get a lap warning. There we go. Okay, you'll note that now my little timer has gone red, and that will stay red. until we cross the start line, bear with. So, we've just gone round and done our invalid lap, and we're just about to cross the start finish line again for a fresh lap. Okay, now, so you'll notice the time's gone white again, and we started a fresh lap, ready to invalidate another lap. <laughs> I'll just go through, run through the aero damage. So if we just go and um, oops, <laughs> you'll notice that there is now uh, aero damage. It's ten blart bars, so that's you know, around thirty percent damage. damage is the new starter key down here which is a colour changing rotary encoder so we are sat engine off at the moment zero revs ignition lights on and the ignition light is blue if we turn this a quarter of a turn we get ignition on and the throbbing red light I can ask the Martin. Okay, and then what we need to do is press that to make the engine start. Okay, and turn it off to make the engine stop. Because it's interactive and it actually talks to the dashboard, it knows what the engine's doing. So if we were to stall the engine on purpose, 
the throbbing light starts immediately, ready for you to start the engine. You don't need to turn the ignition on, obviously you just need to restart the car. But as soon as you store the car, the button box knows and it starts throbbing the red light. The ignition switch is internally illuminated, the knob's clear and there's an RGB LED inside. So it actually changes colour. But I've made the enclosure lighting effect match when you're driving. So the whole box lights up the same colour as the ignition switch. Let's go back to the menu. Everything goes off and the lighting effect goes off on its colour change. So now the actual switch is off but you've got the light pipe effect running through.